Hey what's up everyone, how are you all doing today? Welcome to episode 20 of our Let's Play series of Adeptus Mechanicus with our Heretic DLC. Last mission we kicked some butt in the Acropsis sector. Got a little bit of Blackstone. So let's go check out our cohort. Now I'm pretty sure we got ourselves a power field generator at the end of the last mission. So we can now give this perk to Minarius and kind of wait on. Get rid of the Sanctus canister there. Put his power field generator. So this power field generator gives a bonus of two physical damage to all physical attacks, and it costs one cognition point. Now with this perk, we'll just give him an Arius. Power field generators cost minus one cognition point. So that power field generator is going to be a free use. So uh, I think it's got a couple of turn cooldown, three turn cooldown. So every time that comes back, we can get an extra couple of damage on all our physical attacks. Now we've only got one physical attack with them, the other one's energy. So I wonder if there's another physical attack weapon we've got just yet. No, it's just out of a flamer, isn't it? So we'll keep on with that for now. We do, however, still have one spare augment slot. So I think we're going to switch out this cognition mechandendroid for this one. It's going to give us two cog points for every time we stab an enemy with it. It's brilliant. Okay, 462. Where am I going? So we've got one more we can upgrade. Wonder who's gonna need it. We've got a better refractor field generator. So let's see if we can upgrade Leonardus here and get him upgraded with that. Or we can maybe give him one cognition mechadendrite. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, see what we've got for him. Oh, the benediction. This one's brilliant. You can use a free counter call each round. Yep, I'll have some of that. Yeah, and I think I'm, I'm going to keep him with that refractor field generator for now, but still absorbing 8 damage, which is quite, quite a lot. And we've got a cognition we can then dry on now, so we're going to be able to steal a little bit more cognition. Now, I've only got 33 blackstone left, so I don't know what that's going to be like for deployment cost. We'll have a look shortly. So missions wise, Gamma Pistol, Infestus Chainsaw Revenge. This is a new one. Haha, -ha, one additional slot for mission deployment. There we go. That's it, we're doing this one. Omniscient Axe, 4 to 6 damage, no cognition cost, which is pretty cool. 125 Blackstone, very nice. So who have we got? Immortals, Lich Guards, and Tri Praetorians. Wonderful. I'm pretty sure there's another mission here somewhere that gives us another tech priest. So I think after we get this one done, open up another slot, we'll get our other tech priest in. I think we're going to go with the old school setup. The old uh, Sicarian Rust Orc has not been helping us out recently. Need to wait until he's leveled up a bit, I think. Wait until he's a bit tougher. Need to keep those canticles. General Purpose Manipulators. Okay, so we've got our first team. We've not one, not two, but three diamonds now. So we've got three encounters that we must do. So again, we've got an option one as well, which will lower our awakening level a bit. But we don't want to go straight into that because we've got no awakening level yet. So pretty easy choice this one for first move anyway. Enemies, 
that's a nice one to start with. Just tuck all these guys in a bit. In fact, let's get back a little smidge. That lich girl's nice, far away from us. So there's three of them. It's going to be a bit of a tricky one to start with, I think. Well, he's already nearly screwed. Got no cognition points. Okay. Let's steal that one quickly first. I have to heal him up straight away. Not the start I wanted there, that's for sure. Right, what can we do then? Energy shield. Can't even get close enough to an enemy to stab him. Okay, well he's got an energy shield, so I definitely don't want to shoot him. I've got an energy weapon here. I'm going to shoot this one and just hope that he doesn't have an energy shield. There we go, physical, brilliant. I actually did a little bit of damage to him. I'd love to put up a, a bubble, but we've got no cognition. Okay, Oriochus. Don't want to go for those lich guards, I already don't. They're going to batter us straight away. But I might not have much of a choice. Because every time you attack them, they come back in for a counter attack. So I don't want to attack him with just this little weak shot here. Because I'm going to be doing like one or two damage and he's going to cane me a bit. So I think I'm going to shoot him with this one. Just to hope to put down a little bit more damage. Cool, look at that shielding. Yeah, this one is going to be tough. It's not going to do any damage, but it will get the axe charged up for a machine spirit shot. Oh, it did do damage. That's a result. I wasn't expecting that. It's a zero. Right, he's already on seven, so he's got to heal up as well. Four. Oh. Get a bit of extra healing on. Gonna need every bit we can get. All of them are fired now, which is something. Let's be tactical here. So when I take a shot at this guy, he's going to want to come towards me. I'm just going to provoke an opportunity attack. shield, isn't he? Oh, we need to get him, bro. We need, we need to start nipping away. Yeah. This gun does a bit more damage, at least, so we should. D4, 5. 5. That's cool. I think I'm going to heal him as well. We really need all this healing. Have we got any more cognition? There is another cognition point there. Okay, that's cool. We won't use his servo uh, skull, though. Uh, Minaris, very can pick up all cog points from one source, so we'll wait until his turn. Which I think is going to be next, actually, all the other three have gone.
kind of want to do the same with this this car to, to shoot him and get him coming towards us. Um, I don't know the best way to go about it is because I've got a straight up gun. I guess I'll just get into this flame. Might not do the most damage to him, but it's going to do a bit of tick damage over the next few rounds. And it should still provoke the opportunity to attack from him. Oh, I know he's already done one this round. Alright. It's not bad, I took five damage. Poke for some cognition. Again, probably won't do any damage. Yeah, it's all absorbed, but it's going to charge his axe up for a machine spirit attack. And these axes, machine spirit, knocks down the shield, and it's just what we want. Let's heal. Right, so this guy has now got, I think, oh, he hasn't got the canticle thing. Yeah, choose between two canticles. Oh, no, that's not one I wanted. Well, I think I might use that one. Oh, HP and Tech Priest. Yeah, that's actually worked out really good. It's not the perk I thought it was, but look at all that healing. Oh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful healing. Right, let's get in with this machine spirit on the little pistols, it's energy. I think we're gonna walk up with this guy. Give him a little poke. Get our axe on for some physical damage. So hopefully, what's he on now? Is it gonna tell us 16, 18? No. Hopefully that one should get killed when he tries to move away with the opportunity to attack. He's now fully healed, isn't he? Brilliant. Right, I want to play the opportunity attack game here. Three, four, six. Oh, I'll tell you what we could use. He's got lots of physical shield, we don't want to do that. Um, I think I'm just going to use up some cog points here, I didn't really want to. That's done a good bit of damage to him. Got the opportunity of attack. I think this guy's axe is machine spirit charged. So hopefully we can deal a nice big blow to him now. At the very least. Yeah, he's only got one power. He's dead. So, at the very least, the shield will be up. No? Damage absorbed! Oh! Wah! 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 Um. Heal. Two more encounters to do at least. I need all my guys to stay alive. Please die this time. Thank you. Bloody Laura. That 
it's close. Right, we can get next to this guy here. Oh, we can scan the tower and be in melee range. Brilliant. Pokey stick. Just a bit of cognition. That's him done. So we've still got one, two Lich Guards on the field here. Trying to get rid of these guys first. She's a powerful generator. Out of this machine spirit charge, she deal a nice bit of damage. Nine. It's hoping for a bit more, to be honest. Just to get, he's got two tech priests right next to him, so that's two lots of opportunity attacks. I'm going to stick that for now. Guy. I know he had the physical shield and everything. But it's actually an extra couple of HP off of him. It's all moving in the right direction. Won't do much damage, but can strip a couple of bits of armor off of them. A couple of shielding, but rather. So it's going to make him a bit weaker. Just get a bit of completion. I think he's alright for the moment. And move this guy away from his Lich Guards. And then try and gather all of our guys up the top here all together. Guy's now got two of the tech priests next to him, ready for an opportunity attack. There we go. Hopefully, he might go now. Yep. Brilliant. So now we've just got these lich guys to deal with. Still got his turn as well, actually. Yeah. Leave him there for a second. Because Minaris might have a, a stabby stick. He's also got a lot of shield. as well. 
So again, I knew that wasn't really going to do any damage, but it's just getting our axe machine spirit charged. Right, so now I've used some cognition. Let's get it all back. Got a nice full bar now. Give him a little heal. I'm tempted to hit him with that attack. But now he's set up there. Uh, I'm going to shoot with one of the other guys and get the opportunity to attack. I think that's going to be the best way forward. Loads of cognition, but we've only got two enemies left on the table. Alright, I'm going to move this guy far away. So this is just to provoke him with the opportunity here, not necessarily do damage on him. There we go. He's not close enough to attack him. Oh, we had a second movement there. That was cheeky. So that burn damage doing the business there. So what it did last time, getting the um, the different gun. One's going to do just a little bit more damage. Now he's not going to get an opportunity to attack off our vanguard, unfortunately. We're going to see if we can drag him up past Minarius here. Can I move back a bit, still be in range? Yep. I don't really want to get the counter attack. If I can help it. Just want to provoke. No? Okay, maybe Minarius has already done one. That really needs it. Yeah, let's give our vanguard some love. Cool, stick with that for now, I think. Will we? No, we won't. Let's move him forward a bit. Get the bubble up. We've got lots of cognition, so why not? So again, I'm just trying to provoke an opportunity attack here, trying to get him to walk past our other guy. There we go. That's not bad. We've got machine spell charge on here. He's got seven physical armor though. Oh well. This isn't going to do any damage, but it should cut down. Oh, it did do damage. Ah, oh, machine spirit charged, isn't it? Ha ha. Brilliant. One to go. Let's move forward a little bit. We can afford to push on this guy now. This is just one of them. Oh, so he's got a big energy shield. a bit of healing on. Oh, he's got a big energy shield, isn't he? So let's think about this. What's that going to do? 70? Yeah, okay. No, no, no. We're going to do this. He's got 79 on the base attack, but we can... Add an extra one here of our energy of enhancers. So yeah, it's not going to do much. Too damage. Got that opportunity attack out of him. Up. 
think we're just gonna get straight in there with Minaris here. Big one for Stomp and Axe Shot. Dropped him. Oh yeah. This chamber shows a dangerously high level of radiation. It is possible the server to sacrifice could have unexpected results if it occurs in this location. Remain. Use this location anyway. Radiation holds no fear for a devotee of the Omnissiah. Repair. Take the time to add radiation shield and insulation to the servitor before the sacrifice takes place. Or relocate. Move the servitor to a suitable nearby chamber for the ritual. Relocate. Repair. Now I think remains dark. Might stay around and get radiation poisoning when you can do something about it. I think we'll try some repair. We are um, tech priests after all. The cohort used rad weave lagging to shield the servitor's most delicate components before the sacrifice takes place. They give the enemy time to react to their presence, but the sacrifice happens without untoward incident. And some more bonus blackstone. Brilliant. So we're doing good so far. We're down on a little bit of HP, but we're not even on an awakening level of one yet, which is just fantastic. So let's get straight into the second encounter. Oh yeah, we've also got full cognition bar now. Get them all a bit close to the opening here. I think we'll save our troops until the next deployment. Next round. It's going to get a little bit hectic. This guy's already in our face. Let's try and see if we can do something about it. Oh. Oh, it's nice to attack an enemy that doesn't counter attack. Much more like it. No, we won't put that down. We haven't got any cognition we need to get yet, so let's just hold that. The lips guards have already started. I wonder if I can hit them from here. I can hit them from here. Do it. If we can provoke one of these to start coming a bit closer, we can try and work on just him before the other one comes in. Or at least try to anyway. She's got big energy shield. So I think we'll just leave him there actually. Yeah. Let's heat him right, let's top him up. Lots more combat to be going through here. This is Jeremiah. And that guy's got he's got big energy shield on. Okay, so should I just come here I think? 
do an axe attack. the opportunity attack this guy can't really shoot shoot so we have to flame it we'll stick our field generator on just to try and get a little bit of extra damage out so we're going to get burn damage on him hope we'll get the opportunity attack and then at the end of his turn we'll have a bit of burn damage ticking Um, we could do another attack with this guy. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's get another one in there. Vanguard and never some backup, eh? Just 
sit and learn from Brought myself just into the bubble there, so hopefully it's going to help me. Copper energy air enhancer on to try and do some damage with this shot. This smaller up. Get another opportunity attack boat. Brilliant. Actually worked that time. So far, we've just got one Lich Guard. And what are these? They're like big warrior things, big guns. We've got a couple of them. One of them. This could be interesting. If I can shoot this guy, I might get two, maybe three opportunity attacks against him. Let's have a look. I'm sure, we're going to get at least these two. No, he's, he's not. He doesn't want it. Cool. Let's give him another one then. No, he's all glowing red and angry. He doesn't want to move. Brilliant. If only that would work for that more often. Let's use a little blast to see what his damage is, uh, stats are. We don't know his stats are yet. Okay, so he's got the big energy shield. I think with this guy, we're going to start moving him down towards the scan terminal. chance now. And this guy. Yeah, let's go in once. We've got a pokey stick, so we can poke them. Get one cognition back. Hopefully eliminate them back. Yeah. Nice. This next round he's gonna be nice and close. Should be able to get that scan time on. Work. This 
get two. No, he's already had one of Minaris, but we only needed a one. Brilliant. Oh, that's so good. I was worried we were going to die. We have two guys that are getting pretty low. That's cool. We've only got that guy with big gun to go now. Let's heal him up. working out really good actually. I've only got this one guy left. He's got quite a bit of um, HP on him so it's going to take a round or two to get him. Just going to give us time to get round that terminal there. Stick back. I think we don't need our cohort at the moment. I'm not going to move him yet. I don't want to block up this channel. She's putting out there. Can do the last one? Yep. Sounds like I'll wake him down a nice little bit. That healing action. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Don't want to risk this guy reanimating if I get a bit complacent. So let's move him out of the way. Got left seven. He's on a physical shield. Just let's hit him with that. Oh, hold on, hold on. Reduce it. Make it cheap. Can we finish it now? Nope. I think he's only got one HP left. Yeah, he's only got one left. So as soon as he tries to walk away. He is minced. Oh, look at that, guys. That's uh, two pretty tricky encounters done. We're only on just over one on the Awakening. And all our guys are fully healed now. Well, our tech priests, anyway. I think our Vanguard's only down a couple. An image of Lord Acropsis looms over this chamber, which must be traversed to reach the mission's objective. For some reason, the sacrificial servitors will not approach the graven image, preventing the cohort from continuing further. Collapse, top of a statue of Acropsis. Carry, pick up the sacrificial servitors and forcibly carry them across the chamber. Or cleanse, pray to cleanse whatever unholy aura this chamber has. So, the servitors are scared. Basically, do we topple the statue or carry them over? Carrying them over might freak them out or make them go haywire, possibly. Just guessing. Praying, no. Collapsing the statue. So that could work. Could be a booby trap. We're going to risk it. The demolition child shatters the base of the statue and it falls to the ground, shattering into chunks of material. 
The statue is made of a variety of useful metals and alloys which can be harvested for use on the Castus Metallican. Though the Necrons have been alerted by the sound of the explosion, the servitors are now willing to move through the chamber and the mission continues. Brilliant, so that's the result. Free cognition, bit of extra blackstone. Thank you very much. So, definitely no need to do that extra encounter. We're doing really good here. Cool. Many female ports cover the outer shell of this Necron panel. Perhaps interfacing could improve the team's performance. Don't have a green one yet, so let's just see what happens. There we go. Blackstone. Let's do this. Kill all enemies again. We can do that. We can do that. So it looks like there's a little path leading around the side there. Torin Immortal. Torin Lich Guard. Have we got some other platforms possibly? Yeah, here we go. There's a couple of glowy, glowy guns down there. Glowy doors down there. So we've got potential more platforms coming up this way. So I think we need to focus going this direction. That's the Lich Guard, yes. Yeah, so we'll keep him as far away as possible. And in fact, I'm quite happy where all those guys are. Who are they? Jeremiah, Leonardus, just Minaris there. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Let's get some Vanguard action straight away as well. There you go. This one for platform. Well, both of them coming up already. What's the point of hiding them? Ah, oh, there is one there. Aha. Uh -huh. Bloody Nora with two Lich Guards on it. Bugger. Let's just try and get some damage straight in on this. Do it again. Again! Get the opportunity. So before he's even getting anywhere, he's already had three attacks on him and no damage has gone. Wampa Stomper. Some up. 
I start trying to back my ways of my guys away from these lich guards. Because the other the other two are gonna be shortly coming around that corner. I'm guessing that none of the opportunity attacks can do any damage to him. Keep that body there for the rest of this round. I'm pretty sure at least one of my other guys is going to have a collision stick. If I keep him there, all these other ones are gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I've gotta back up a bit. But I think I'm just gonna back him all the way out of there. damage there. I am however going to move in between those two guys. So when he... This one will just fly away I'd imagine. This one's going to try and move and we should get the, um, the opportunity attack on him. Start collecting some of this combination. Oh crap, this guy is not going to last long. He's not going over as well. Oh, there we go. I think we've got to say goodbye to him. That's all we need now is for this guy to move away and make an attack, and that's it. He's gone. Yes, definitely getting the servitor in here. Got 
free physical shield and Nice red line. There's also something blocking the way. Let's get a shot from him and step down. Let's do the shout cast thing. Which hopefully should make all of them target the servitor instead of the terrorist. Two opportunity attacks on that one. So that's a little bit of a bonus. Served has gone, but he did his job. Let's get that combination before I do anything. No one's been able to poke this guy, so I'm just going to get him gone whilst I can now. Pistol just to get stats up. Hopefully, he's not in range to melee attack me. Let's see, it's going to be close. Yeah, close but no cigar. Definitely don't need the cognition right now. We've got lots of points, so let's use them all. back in three turns if we're still alive. So strip a load of armor off him so oh that's a healer I thought that was a poker. I'm starting to get there a little bit now. Whittled a few of them away. Still got all these triarchs though. They're really not going to come. There you go, drop that in water now. Pokey stick, yeah, pokey stick. Is this Minarius? It is. 
so let's get so we're just about in range. Because both these guys are gonna come after us after this attack. Yeah, it's not gonna do much. But it's gonna burn them over the next few rounds, so it's gonna do something. Cool, so he wasn't in range. He was we kind of expected him to be. At least they both weren't. That one, the opportunity is not going to do anything, is it? Is there another enemy I can shoot someone? There we go. Let's get on these guys here. See, he might die in the next round or two. So he's sort of stuck there. stick as well. Brilliant. Another couple. Another one. Strip some armor off of them. Keep him there, locked into melee. You can't have many left on him. That's a witch guard. You, my friend, have to get the Fahaj out of there. Risk it for a biscuit here. I don't think this counts as an attack, so I hope it shouldn't count as an attack for me. No, good. Right, so if I do what I did last time, I get just out of range. Hopefully, I can shoot them again with my flamer. They shouldn't be able to get me.
opportunity. Bonus, but why? <laughs> God, you gotta love the AI sometimes. Brilliant. Gave me an extra, extra bit of damage here yeah, for nothing, essentially. Oh, could have got two. Yeah. Damage, that's good. I'm stripped from his armor. Yes! 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 I really wasn't expecting that to go down. Brilliant. Now, can we also get a bit of extra sneaky buggering about with this guy? Get another opportunity attack from Anarius, hopefully. No. But still, we should be safe in our bubble. Yeah, damage will absorb, so that's still fine. Heal the tower, the Punians at most, he's on 11, he's on 6. Let's get rid of that body before I forget. I want reanimations, not this late in the game. Stats up so we know what we're working with. Okay. Okay, so just, yep, just these two sets of two left. Which isn't bad, really.
Right, let's see if we can do the maximum amount of damage here. Let's get this on. That should do a good bit of damage because it's energy. It's going to come back at us. Do we risk making another attack on him? For free health. He's left, he's left on four. He's got an energy shield of five. Watch out of there and do a bit of run away. Run the hell away. I think we are going to get our last service right here. If we can get this wrapped up in this round. We can stay within an awakening of three. Which would be unreal. I'm going to turn that on first to get the armor. Oh, Does that count as an attack? Let's see. Is he gonna come back at us? Yeah. Oh, we got a bit of education there. Bugger it. Try and charge up his axe a bit. in this one round. It's a bit of a bugger. Just really hoping to. Um, we need that. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, the guys are pretty low. worried about these guys reanimating, but I've got to concentrate on what I've got on the field at the moment, really. I still got, I still got my energy cancel. Okay. Two to four. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. I want to guarantee you here. Just this one left. I don't know how. I think I've got Minarius and this guy to go still. Is it Orioles or Jeremiah? Do actually have all my power to get rid of this guy. <laughs> and that did it. Yes! Wow, that was a battle in that tomb today, guys. Absolute battle. Mission complete. The last sacrificial servitor destroys itself with an exothermic reaction, pronouncing the binary streams of its final prayer. Videx's ritual is complete. The three servitors have performed their ultimate function, and the pool of Xenos corruption has raised a little from the tomb of Acropsis.
Uh, so we did pretty good here. Only one of our tech priests suffered some damage at the end there. So 60 blackstone loss. Really isn't that bad at all. Gained a load for killing these enemies. Don't really mind about that axe, but getting that additional deployment slot is brilliant. And I think we did end up with only a two awakening level there. So considering all the enemies we had to face, all those lich guards, three different uh, encounters, we still ended up with just two on the awakening, so that's absolutely brilliant. So we're only on 45%. So we're still nearly up to halfway. Prayer of Plasteel, plus six physical armor for one round. Just that one new canticle. Well, that's the result today, guys. I'm sorry it dragged on a bit again. We're on like nearly an hour and 20. But to be honest, if that was the first tomb we've had with three encounters, the, the diamond ones, uh, most of the missions are going to start being like that now. So all the episodes are probably going to be around the hour mark. So I hope you're all alright with that. Leave us some comments. Let us know what you think. So if you enjoyed that episode, guys, please leave us a like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.